No, but I think Tremble is like Silhouette. You can play the hero, and then you can play the hero to uh, what's called the skill cap. It's really high on the hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is the main difference between Tremble and other carries? Like, you co talked about the map awareness. Uh, he is he is quite weak during the laning phase as well. Is there something else? Like you said, the high skill cap as well? Mm, I haven't played the hero. Like, I don't think I played the hero once in my life, so I can't. I'm not the right guy to ask, but I know that the hero is like. You can like solo conger and the double stun locked. I don't know. I, the hero is insane. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all I know. High skill cap at least. Um, Andromeda yeah. though, I'm not and I'm not necessarily like I know that uh, Evil Corporation loves to run the Mora or the Andromeda just to support their carry. But for some reason, I don't feel like Andromeda and the Tremble is a very good fit. Like swapping out the clanks or something like that makes a lot of sense because obviously he's going to create some distance between himself and the opponent. But a Tremble like kind of wants to be in the middle and sure you can use it to get him out of trouble but in team fights like it's going to take some very very uh, valuable seconds for him to run back in there yeah, you have a really good point i don't know the idea behind andrew's hop either it's a bit like funky yeah it doesn't feel like uh the best synergy between the two heroes at least. Uh, perhaps they got a plan, I'm not entirely sure. They could potentially run Tremble in a solo lane and then could go for Andromeda, Ophelia and some kind of uh, offensive hero as well in a pseudo tri lane. Uh, we were just gonna have to wait and see. As you said, recent gaming not necessarily known for playing the Tremble too much. Nope. Could also be the Aurora spell, physical damage. I think Tremble is like only physical if I'm not mistaken. A lot of physical at least. That is true. We're gonna see. They might draft around here from now on. Yeah, Pebbles, by the way, Mora on the Hellborn side so far. Of course, Mora and Pebbles is always very deadly, even in the early levels. As soon as you get level 3 and you have the Delusion on the Mora, the Mana Sunder, the Shards of Harkon, the Stalagmites, the Shock, it's well, it gives you like an 8 second cooldown, or not a cooldown, but a lockdown uh, in level 3. So extremely deadly to deal with. And there we go, Pharaoh once again, this time for uh, Evil Corporation. Hmm, I think that hero is gonna feed Susa lane against the Swift Blade short lane. Like the mum is, is not gonna do anything unless he managed to uh, play Swift Blade outside, that is. Yeah, that is indeed true. Yeah, Swift Blade uh, needs to get close in with that spin. Of course, deals a lot of damage. Uh, yeah. I still wouldn't rule out the potential of Reason or Evil Corporation running that offensive trial and having, for example, Pharaoh in the mid, as we saw uh, in the last game. It, it might not necessarily be too much of, like, Evil Corporation style. Uh, I mean, Sane doesn't necessarily feel. Uh, they play. I mean, both him and Sibyl plays the suicide role, but it still feels like their playstyles are incredibly different. Yeah, definitely. Sane is the guy who always go to his lane and does his thing, and then he does a bit better after the lane in phase. And Tib is the guy who. He's like super aggressive. He does YOLO plays. They either work out or they don't. That they most often work out. <laughs> yeah, for some reason it seems like it often does. <laughs> Even when it is some auto pickups from time to time in terms of item choices. There goes the engineer, by the way. What do you think about that? Ooh, prisoner, uh, engineer. Hmm. Mm, I don't know the idea behind the pick, but uh, the ultimate is always annoying to play against. Yeah, that it is. Um, I'm not entirely sure either about the idea behind the hero. It doesn't necessarily seem like it's the best fit for the heroes. Uh, Pebbles Engineer, uh, it could work out, but it's also relatively risky to a sense. If they fail, there isn't necessarily too much of a comeback potential. Uh, engineer, I could see the energy field uh, work pretty well versus the Andromeda swap, of course. But... Uh, yeah, that's, that's long-fetched. I'm just looking for something that makes sense. <laughs> Andromeda Prisoner, for example, if, let's say, let's just say, uh, Prisoner Andromeda goes up versus the Pebbles Engineer in the mid lane, who would you favor if that's the case? Peb NG versus uh, Prisoner, Prisoner Andromeda. Andro. Hmm. They have the Ophelia factor, but it might be hard to pull up ganks. I think as long as it hits the hook, they're going to get kills. Yeah, Engineer and the Keg, of course, if Pebbles gets locked down, if uh, he gets Comet stunned, the Engineer, of course, is going to have to rely on his skills to hit that Keg. 
and that might be uh, tricky at times. It is fairly easy to sidestep, or at least if you get the marchers. Uh, Wild Soul, by the way, final pick here. It's going to be played by... Who is it going to be played by? Probusk? Yeah, they did this against us, I remember. Short lane uh, Wild Soul farming. Oh, yeah. Did they end up winning that game? Maybe. What? They can't do it now. No, they, they, they are going to have to have an offensive trial in here. Maybe Swift played... Perhaps in the mid lane, solo, Swift played in mid, and then I have a Pebbles offensive tri lane. I'm not entirely sure. I don't feel like this offensive tri lane would be successful if that uh, is their choice, though. I mean, sure, they want to lock down the tremble, but both Mora and Engineer, like, they don't have any solid initiation stuns. Uh, it's going to be so difficult for them to catch, even if they roam around and find someone. Like, how are they going to initiate on them? I don't know, but I, it looked like Swift played both suicide items. He's saving up a lot of gold. Potentially gonna buy those boots, maybe. I think they're gonna do Pebbles and you mid and Moira short lane with the uh, Wild Soul farming, Suicide Swift. So you think that uh, Wild Soul is actually going to have a babysitter yeah. in terms yep. of Moira? Hmm. Yep. He can spawn the illusion from top lane while farming the pool. But I don't know, I might be wrong. Gonna find out shortly. Yeah, I mean, there is the option uh, at least, uh, or I mean, I guess there is the option to run him uh, dual long lane with Swift as well, but yeah, that doesn't necessarily seem optimal. Um, depends on how Tremble, he is going to be down here, he's got a lot of region pulled as well, six blights and one health pot uh, in his inventory uh, from the start. Seems like he's going to be solo bottom at least. Probusk Suicide. Have we ever seen this one before? I don't think so. I haven't seen Wild Soul Suicide either. I don't know if it's good or not. BMG has actually, Maki especially, has been running uh, quite a bit of uh, Wild Soul in that Suicide lane. And it has been fairly successful. Like, he goes for tanky items, kind of works a little bit like a Clanks. Like, even if you don't necessarily get the damage items, you're still going to have a lot of damage output with your abilities. So he just goes for, like, a Helm of Black Legion into an Ice Brand and stuff like that. Uh, tanky items like bulwark as well. Mm. Okay. I think Hellborn has lane advantage here. It's lots, a lot's gonna come down to mid lane, but uh, they have a free farm in Swift. Uh, I can imagine Wild Soul is gonna get not free farm, but it's gonna get like 250 GPM around that, and then mid is gonna be, yeah, mid is gonna be 50-50, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let's see, yeah, it's definitely going to be, uh, they need to be careful here in the mid lane to say the least uh, goes for both teams, but especially, of course, for those hooks. Uh, I would say that as soon as they hit level 2, Andromeda and Prisoner should probably try to bring the pressure. Uh, I feel like as more levels they get, it's more the more it's going to favor this Hellborn team. I think so as well, definitely. And it's also going to have a lot of impact uh, from the Moira gangs and Ophelia gangs. So I think those two heroes is gonna be have a lot of impact on this mid lane. Yeah, there is a little bit of pressure being uh, put here on to Sane. As we can see, Iceland Gogo is the one playing the Mora this time. Serenia once more actually uh, playing that little bit more of a secondary support. Uh, not entirely sure if that's something that they have decided now on, but um, I do think that Serenia most of the times at least are playing that uh, hard support. But uh, as you pointed out, like he played a really good Behemoth last game. Yep, I think it's the same fact uh, either behind the chair. He's, I don't know, I guess he's better with PK support or something. Because I can't imagine Engineer is going to be the one who buys the PK and uh, Moira is going to be the one who works. Yeah, one would assume so at least. Tank of Fat, uh, they're actually going to go around here for a kill attempt. But top. of course, there was a word of sight. Oh, top lane. The Mora is in trouble. That was close by Sane. Actually skipping up on uh, Tormented Soul completely. Going for Hellfire level 2, almost securing that kill. Uh, and on the bot lane, of course, there was a word of sight that spotted this transition. But Ophelia level 2, only, <laughs> they're already putting a lot of pressure on the tower. Um, 
Oh, top lane, Faro is going to fall. That is the first blood going uh, in favor of the Hellborn team. Sibbe gets credit for the kill and bumps up to 410 gold per minute. Great start for him, of course. Sibbe actually playing uh, the safe lane carry this time. I actually like to see this kind of transitions when it comes to roles. Yeah, I agree. Hmm. Take out the Hellborn Tower before the 3 minute mark. Whoa. Uh, with an Ophelia level 2 and an Andromeda, it's not even a Rhapsody or a, a Demented Shaman or anything like that. It's just a freaking Andromeda Ophelia level 2 getting the tower at 3 minute mark. I, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I didn't see the start of that, but maybe Probusk overdid the pulling a little bit and created like a giant wave for the leading team and they were like just taking opportunity or the um, advantage of the opportunity or something. I think so too. But the really good heads up at least. Skeleton King. It's not gonna get anything done though, I think. As you can see, Tremble trying to harass the boo boo a little bit. Uh, not entirely sure how long the cooldown is on that boo boo, by the way, if it dies. I do think that they reworked it a bit. The 30 second cooldown of this ability starts when Boo Boo dies. Yeah, okay, so it's a 30 second cooldown when Boo Boo do goes down. What rune did they pick up? Okay, actually there was an illusion rune. Tank of Head, by the way, spending a lot of time into his rotations and not investing the time into farming. Are you surprised by that? Um... <sighs> Not the jungler, so I don't know what's the best option here, but he's always level 2, so that's not something you want to be. Yeah, he's got a wild, or uh, not the wild hunters, but the uh, uh, illusions here at least helping him out a little bit. And as you can see, he got a stack here. Unfortunately, he got some wild hunters spawning. Obviously, the cyclone is not going to affect them, but uh, there's a nice stack here, so maybe he bumps up to level 4 at least after this. I think so. Yep, as long as he recovers. He obviously want uh, an early team fight. Uh, I mean, he early. Needs to keep uh, the Vulture Lord alive here, though. If that goes down, then it is going to be extremely difficult Ooh. to finish up all those creeps, or it's going to take a significant amount of time. And then a skeleton. Oh, that's so bad. Oh man, he is unlucky. It was actually Probusk that was on uh, yesterday for my first series, and he said that Tank of Fed, he always gets perfect spawns in the forest. But hey, he proves uh, Probusk wrong in this game at least. Yep. Oh, Number top lane. Carry. Moira in level 4 already, by the way. That surprised me there for a second. Uh, Swiss Slush is as well gonna come up, and as you said, like that wall of the mummies is kind of ineffective versus a <laughs> yep. Swiss Yep. Oh, Alchemist Bones on Sibbe. Oh, Tremble though. Tremble, where are... Oh my gosh, he's at top lane and he gets the return kill on the Swift Blade. Mid nice. Hook. Oh, and action continues in the mid. Yeah, Haxran in trouble. The Boris is here as well. So in is the Skeleton King. So actually, Tank of Head makes it works with that spawn as well. All that right. was so important, those kills. Tremble is such a good hero, holy shit. 475 gold per minute. You said that Sibu picked up that alchemist bonus. Is that is that going to come back and bite him, you think? Hmm. If he can you sit back and farm, uh, it's not gonna bite him in the ass, but he needs the Pebbles PK for that to happen. Like to create space for him and I don't think Pebbles gonna have a PK fastest game at all. With this uh, Boris and uh, Ophelia creeps roaming, so I think it's gonna bite him in the ass, honestly. Yeah, it sure doesn't seem like he's going to have a fast pull, key, especially there with another hook. Nice coordination <laughs> once again. The Boris, like, the, yeah, the tremble. Oh my god, the skill cap that we're talking about showing there once again. Imba Boy on top of it this game. Alright, on paper, I almost feel like, I mean, I understand why Sibi went for the Alchemist Bones, but I, st I still do think that if you're farming this fast, like, the Ruined Axe would have allowed you to, well, not only transition better into the late game, but also, like, at a point, kind of help you farm faster. Or am I completely wrong when I say that? Uh, sorry? No, the Ruined Axe, don't you think that that would have been kind of, like, more beneficial for the Swift Blade in the long run here? Like, almost, um, uh, like, allow him to farm even faster than the Alchemist Bones, so point. Oh, that Tormented Soul, by the way. Luckily for Helmer team, that was not maxed out. 
Yeah, Rune Axe obviously makes you farm better, but uh, two charges in uh, Alchemist Bones is like gonna mess with the feel a lot. But uh, I mean, when I play Swift Blade, I, I also buy Alchemist Bones sometimes, but then I have like a PK as well, so I use PK on top of a feel and Alchemist Bones is creep and it's kind of useless. Look at this coordination, by the way. The Prison Break is going to pull in Haxran, and Boris is just creating massive chaos here in the mid lane. Mora is, okay, of course, here. He is level 6, so he got oh, the Arcane Vortex available to swap from Andromeda. The Arcane Vortex, though, gonna keep him alive for now. Trample is here. Swift Blade is running over as well, but he doesn't have any marchers yet. Or he only got the marchers. Swift Slash is not going to deal too much damage, but it is going to be enough to bring the prisoner down. At least Tremble trying to escape now. Ghost marchers should be enough. No, the Mora shorts of Harkon. I don't think Imbaboy actually saw that go off he's gonna stay a little bit too long and it's gonna get picked off as well that is a nice turn of events for the Hellborn team definitely Pebbles still struggling though with his farm with that sad but Siba at least would you assume that he's gonna go for uh, uh, the ghost marchers or the steam boots here Swift yeah ghost marchers I would su be surprised if he didn't I don't know, I'm still surprised if he's gonna go for the carry build, uh, Frostburn, stuff like that, or he's gonna be go for the PK pickoff kind of way. Yeah, I mean, I, at some point I kind of feel like he would kind of have to go for a little bit more of a tanky build, especially if he's not gonna go for the Abyssal Skull and allow Wild Soul to get that instead for him. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, I mean, yeah, the Ghost Monsters into the um, Alchemist Bones, that is incredibly squishy, he's actually gonna decide to go for the Steam Boots Steam? here. Uh, so a little bit more tanky presence in that sense. Uh, not entirely sure where he's gonna go from here. Like, do you see, oh wait, what's going on? Yeah, the tremendous soul gonna come in as well and add some extra assist gold. Nice catch there from the Legion team. Prisoner, by the way, how is he doing? I'm gonna take a look, quick look at the gold per minute shot right here. Uh, Swift might actually leading the charge here for the Hellborn team. Uh, probably going to be some kind of a battle. Oh my gosh, are you having the disconnect as well? Yes. It's obviously the server. <laughs> yeah, it uh, would seem that way. Oh, all right, they're gonna give it another try here at least. Hopefully, it was just momentarily. Let's get it on. Yeah, it seems like it is gone now at least. Swiftly gonna use the spin in the mid lane. He needs to be careful not to be hooked, but he is going to be able to make it out of there. What would you uh, predict Swiftly to pick up here next? Hmm, that depends if he's, uh, like I said, going for the pick up build or carry build. But judging the fact that he picked up an Alchemy Bones, I can imagine. Uh, he's going the carry route, so maybe a Frostburn Energizer. But I don't know, I need to know what you buy on Wild Soul, so... He buys the Helm of the Black Legion into... I, I Okay, just my guess. Uh, Abyssal Skull, Bulwark and uh, the Helm of the Black Legion. Probably starting it off with the Helm, and then Abyssal Skull and uh, Bulwark. Then they're gonna need damage on Swift Blade, so he's gonna buy yeah, Frostburn, carry items, Wingbow, Wingbow. We will see indeed another tower, by the way, going down in favor of the Legion team. Not too much of uh, or resistance here from the Hellborn team. As I say, the Raptor Fire goes down as well onto Probask. No ports so far from the Hellborn team. Um, yeah, they simply don't have any ports in uh, on their team in their inventory slots. Uh, so not much they can do about that. Haxron is at the top lane, by the way. Engineer is level 6 as well, so... Uh, they could potentially get this tower here. They know for a fact that the fire ultimate is down as well as well ports in are going to be very difficult versus that energy field. But uh, as of right now, it's the push is relatively slow. So as you can see, yeah, the Legion team they are actually running over, and I feel like they should make it here in time. Andromeda, by the way, look at his items already, like, he's almost got that Energize already, and that just is simply because of that, uh, those early tower kills. Holy shield. He's gonna have a lot of impact. Uh, that kind of takes away a lot from the Pebbles factor as well, like, if he gets the Polky, he's not going to be able to find any pickups whatsoever. Nope. 
Energizer, by the way, you were right uh, on the Swift Blade when you said that. In a go, Swift Slashes? No, he's gonna go for the Deny oh. instead. Of course, gonna get rid of that Minotaur as well. But are they not going for it? They're not gonna go for the Deny on the tower. Tank is gonna get shredded for that. And, uh, oh my gosh. Let <laughs> uh, me see how once more here. Oh god. I don't think it's going to matter too no, much. No, it's not gonna matter at all. He's dead. I mean, the Ophelia's touch is on cooldown as well, so there isn't that factor. Uh, the the defensive tower in the mid is going to fall as well in favor of uh, Evil Corporation here. I'm not entirely sure if that's like, what would you rather wait, have? Like, wait, aren't you still lagging? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm okay. just like uh. going on. Uh, uh, come again? Uh, the, the mid tower, like they kind of, they gave the mid tower away uh, for the kill onto prisoner. And I'm not entirely sure if that's worth it. I mean, I would probably give more credit almost into securing the eye on the mid tower. Hmm, I think there's like good and bad point parts. The good part is that they shut down the prisoner PK, he's relatively close to it, and the bad part is that uh, Tremor gets more farm and obviously Ophelia, Andrew and Pharaoh. And then another good part is that uh, Pebbles get more time to uh, recover. That is true. Pebbles, think yeah. Pebbles is gonna die here. Wait, oh my something. gosh, I missed that. Yeah, he's in trouble. The Ruffer the Pharaoh comes out as well. The tower does go in favor of the Legion team in the mid, and the Cadman Champion is going to be uh, sent back to base there. Of course, the Prisoner goes, does go down, and it seems like the lag is gone for now at least. Or is it. I kind of feel a little bit of spikes here and there. Well, it should, yeah, it seems like it's better now at least. Uh, Hellborn team, yeah, as you said, I mean, it is of high importance that they do get that uh, portal key onto the pebbles. Um, and I would assume that the Hellborn Black Legion is going to be completed here on Probusk in the near future. What would you uh, predict the Tremble going for as his next item? Um, uh, hmm. Depends if they want to team fight or go for pickups. If they want a team fight, he's gonna go for that shrunken head next. If he wants pickups, he's gonna go for the brutalizer. What would you prefer? Um, I think shrunken team fight. They don't really have that much late game, honestly. I do guess that Boo Boo's swipe ability is magic damage. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, sir, our engineer is going to be in trouble here. He's going to choose to pour it out, but that leaves Wildstone in a very vulnerable position. And Arcane Vortex is going to try to buy time. Not going to be enough, though. Probus is at least going to fall. Unfortunately, Nier didn't have vision onto Mora right there. Otherwise, he could have gotten a double tap there. Uh, but at least they do get credit for that uh, Wildstone kill. Be kill, be kill. They need those pickups. That they do. Uh, as you can see as well, Haxron is indeed continuing to farm here in the mid lane. But so far, I gotta say that this engineer hasn't really like I don't know. Uh, I, I I still don't know exactly why they valued it uh, as high as they did. Oh, top lane. See, but there's a lot of ports coming in after the fire as well. He got a swift slashes up as uh, at least if he chooses to do so. It's going to buy a little bit of time for his teammates to arrive. The Keg not going to be successful. Haxman got a DD, but this is not looking too good. Arcane Vortex, of course, being on cool there. They are going to turn it around at least, and they are actually going to get the trample. Nice hook, though. Going to pull Pebbles right back in. Andromeda uh, is trying to catch down Engineer as well. Ophelia is going to join the ranks, and this is going to be a little bit of a disaster almost for the Hellborn team. They did have the right uh, idea in mind. They're trying to aid Sibba, but unfortunately, they didn't make it in time. And well, only remaining hero alive on the Hellborn side is now that Wild Soul. Yep, not sure what the, the idea was behind that dive, but didn't pay off. That it certainly did not. <laughs> Here we go. See. Prisoner picks up the poor Kino as well. As we can see, Pebbles is still 500 gold away from his. Swift Blade closed on another item, or at least part of another item. Uh, not entirely. Yeah. Okay. Brand, yeah. Seems that way, you are correct once more. Do you feel like he should go or invest that into a Frostburn later on? Or would you like to see the jump or Spain maybe? Hmm. Good point. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I think either is fine, but I think the Geo, uh, the Geo Bane is a bit better. 
just because the shackle ability and uh, disjoint a lot of spells and yeah yeah that's true the shackle is there as well i missed that one i was more thinking about the boris uh lockdown i think geometers works versus that and of course if you're yeah. lucky you can get out of the fire wall of mummy as well but yeah there is the shackle effect as well so yeah geometers been uh, probably leaning towards that geometers been as well as we see arcane vortex go down catching ophelia and the lag continues uh stalagmites is it going to be successful yes it is no support whatsoever for the legion team and they are going to be able to get that and hopefully they're going to be able to finish off the creeps here from tank of Ed as well, no, Boar is actually gonna buy a lot of time. Mid lane, by the way, Sibba in trouble, gonna have to use the Swift Slash to try to get away. There's the spin as well, he's gonna choose the man up. Andromeda might have overstayed his welcome a little bit. He's probably gonna go down. Comet's it's not gonna save him for now. The hook in as well from Embray, not going to be enough, but at least he is going to be able to aid his teammate and help him survive. So, one for one, no, wait, only one dead uh, Ophelia from that uh, uh, scenario right there. Yes, yep, yep, yep. Pebbles picked up his Polky, by the way. Boris is here trying to kind of have fun with uh, the Swift play a little bit. Uh, make yeah, it I should have bought the Brutalize on Tremble, so it's gonna be a lot easier to kill him in teamfights. Yeah, not going for that uh, Shrunken Head. I almost feel like Shrunken Head could have been uh, a better option as well, but of course, uh, yeah, there might, is. Back and stuff. He, he might be relying on heals and Andrew swap hooks and shit but yeah i think shrunken would have been better we're gonna see yeah, i feel like they are as strong as they need to be at this point like i don't necessarily see them growing any stronger like they got a portal key onto a prisoner they got uh like core items at least on pharaoh it doesn't have it too much but andromeda got an energizer as well ophelia has the astro and a mana ring tremble of course if he would have had a shrunken head i feel like the legion team would have had an advantage but if they were to wait like even if tremble gets another set of items that's also going to mean that geometer spin is going to be finished on swift blade as well as uh, probus is going to have the abyssal skull and i mean there's going to be pole keys here in the near future for the supports as well on moira especially uh, so yeah i i I would have probably agreed on uh, Shrunken Head, as you said, being the better item. But hey, they are at least going to group up now. Shrunken Head is not finished yet. He got the Warhammer only, so still very, very squishy. If Haxron gets a good jump on him, followed by a Swift Slashes, that might be scary. Nier is going to have to be fast with the fingers here with the swap. Oh, Engineer is actually going to be caught as well. He's going to be tossed in by Pebbles. That's going to backfire big time. They are going to get uh, the kill onto Prisoner at least. Andromeda, not entirely sure what he swapped out. Ophelia in the background as well. Ophelia Ophelia's touch goes out, Tremble trying to make a stand here, Brutalized proc on the first Swift Lad, or Swift Blade is in trouble as well, and that is, uh, well, almost a genocide at least for the Legion team, that's, that shock from Pebbles, I mean it was a good idea trying to get Engineer in there, but it was at the yep. same time as Prisoner did a hook, so that backfired big time. I don't think Hellborn can fight this early on, honestly, they don't have the burst at all. Like where is the, where is the damage? It's like uh, Pebbles combo into Astro into Ophelia, the hero survives. Pebbles combo into Swap, like they have so much counter. So yeah, I don't yeah, think that was good at all. Uh, perhaps that uh, other kind of gank build, as you mentioned earlier on, on Swift Play would have been to prefer in this game. Seeing as they had a wild soul as well to fall back on when it came to that late game, now it, it does indeed seem like uh, there is a little bit too much damage lacking here for the Hellborn team. If the Shrunken Head now completes as well on Tremble, which it is about to do here in the near future, uh, it's actually going to fly out to him right now, then it's going to be nearly impossible to actually bring the Tremble down as long as he got teammates behind. As we can see Wild Soul as well, I would assume that he's going to wait. He's gonna use a Veiled Rod. I haven't seen that before. Wild Soul with a Veiled Rod doesn't seem too optimal, but here we go at least. Pharaoh, by the way, in the mid as well. That's on a real invisibility rune. No smoke here. Ooh, tremble. Shrunken head activated. Wow, look oh. at that. Sib is going to fall. One on one battle. Tremble shows that he's a beast. Pharaoh as well, going to initiate in the background. He finished up a barbed armor, by the way. Shrunken head still activated, by the way. Engineer is going to fall. And I would be too surprised to see the GD is coming out now. Nope. Tremble, boys. Uh, Probus is trying to do a sneaky Congor, but even if he gets the token, I don't really feel like it matters too much. <laughs> oh, they're gonna drop uh, another set of racks before he gets this Congor kill. <laughs> that they sure are. And I wouldn't be surprised if they actually fall back and try to attempt the Congor afterwards and then they find him at like 5% HP <laughs> and says, Thank you, Wild Soul. 
They're gonna take me. Yeah, they're, they're gonna kill him here. He's not kidding. Oh, they're gonna see. Sure, it seems that way. So they are indeed going to tie it. Uh, and that is, uh, well, that's a very important game there for um, Evil Corporation here. Going up to uh, three ties now and two wins. Of course, Mint or We So Fresh having one win and one tie. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wait, actually, before, do you have any final thoughts about that game, number two? Uh, I think this game, it's the other way around. Legion outplayed Hellborn. Reason, aka ECX, outplayed Minty Fresh. That's about it. Yeah, that uh, sure seems to be. Yeah, both the teams kind of outplaying each other. Uh, of course, Minty Fresh having that uh, game number one very convincingly, and then uh, game number two, uh, Evil Corporation turning on or turning it up one level and showing that they are a force to be reckoned with as well. Both teams, of course, uh, strong contestants to that, uh, making it into the top four and moving on to that playoffs. Uh, I'm also, or I do believe that the other series that was going on is over with. As well, I know that Complexity won the first game with a 15 minute concede uh, victory, and I would assume that seeing as they are not in a game here, that Complexity did take game number two as well. Let's see, Revolution, they're in a lobby called Scrim, but I would assume that the uh, series is indeed over with. Yeah, I'm gonna get confirmation on that. Uh, Yeah, all right. It seems like Complexity did indeed uh, win that series. Uh, so that's uh, yeah, that's uh, going to make it here uh, for this weekend and uh, this uh, evening. Uh, I would like to thank you, of course, Maser, for uh, joining me here. It was uh, a good series in the end, and I enjoyed hearing your input on this series. Um, hope you guys, uh, or I hope you had a good time as well. Any final shout-outs that you want to make before we uh, turn the stream off here? Um, uh, shout out to Sync Slayer and MSI Slayer, and uh, shout out to Reason and uh, Penny Otis Metropolitana. All right, that uh, will do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. Of course, uh, Break CPK is going to be back. Uh, I would assume that he's going to be here. F well, uh, at Tuesday at least, uh, to cover uh, the next game. As I said as well, Sync Esports versus BMG was rescheduled to tomorrow 20.00 CET or 2 p.m. EDT. And I'm not entirely 